Hi, welcome to Mary's Math Club. We know rational number, irrational number, and now we will discuss about SARD. What is SARD? SARD is the number from which we can't find out the root completely. In fact, long ago, um, big uh, Arabian mathematician Al Khwarizmi uh, also mentioned this type of number, and he said this these numbers as mute number. And the word sar coming from the Latin and this name meaning is also diff and dumb number because it was unsolved then. And so what is that you already we discussed and just like this number root 2. This is irrational number and this is uh, we don't, don't get any uh, root perfectly from here. This is search number and in the case of search number how we will do multiplication addition all these things we will discuss right now but before that i uh, want to say that sad may be two type this is also sad and again this number is also sad so root 2 this is also sad number and 3 root 5 this is also sad number but difference between these two is that root 2, what I have written first, that root 2 is called pure sun. Pure sun. And 3 root 5, clearly it, uh, you can see that this part is not at all irrational, but this part is irrational. So this is called mixed sun. As there is rational and irrational, both the number exist here. That's why it is called mixed sort. And here it is called pure sort. So, rational, so irrational number, uh, which uh, are the actually the square root of the prime number. So, all the square root of prime number, prime number are actually sort. Like root 2, root 3, root 5, root 7, root 11, root 13, like that. In the case of a pure sad, we can, uh, one question can raise that um, here we can write 1 into root 2, that means root 2. But uh, then we can say that uh, yes, 1 is rational number. That's why we have to keep it in mind that in the case of mixed shard, in the case of mixed shard, the, we have to uh, consider those mixed number where the rational num is number is other than 1 where the rational number is other than 1 because if I multiply 1 into root 5 or 1 into root 5 or uh, 1 into root 3 it is always gives, a, gives me root 3 or root 5 but that means it is not mixed set it is pure set because here the rational number in the case of mixer the rational number should be other than one the rational part should be other than one in the case of mixed shard now this is mixer and this is pure sir now we will see that in the case of mixed sir it is rational number and this is irrational part so this number and if we write 2 root 5 between these two number see rational part is different but the irrational part is similar and this type of sad we are saying that this and this are similar sad. So similar sad means the irrational part of the sad is equal is same like here 3 root 5 it is root 2. This is 2 root 2 and this is 4 root 5. So just 3 root 5 and 4 root 5 in, in these two cases, just irrational part of the number is same. So these are similar sums. So this one and this one both are similar sums. But these two means root 2 and 2 root 3, these are not similar sums because here the irrational part is root 2 here the irrational part is root 2 
root 3, sorry. Here the irrational part is root 2 and here irrational part is root 3. These are not similar or this is 2 root 3 and 4 root 5. So these are not similar. So irrational part, whenever we will see that in search, irrational part is same. Then we will say this is similar sum. And between two similar sum, we can do addition and subtraction. Multiplication, division also, but addition and subtraction, we can only do between two similar sum. Uh, square, square root or whatever, uh, square root or cube root. It's not uh, completely determined. That's why we can sum that those number. Uh, so, to convert this irrational number into rational number is called rationalization. Now, with an example, we will do it. Example number one. Now, this is square root of 24. So, square root of 24 means we know 4 into 6 and 4 part we can write outside. First, we are writing 4 into 6 minus 54 means we can write it 9 into 6. Sorry, it's 9 into 6. Plus root 48 means we can write it 16 into 3. Minus square root of uh, 192. 192 means it is 2. That means 9, 6, 48. 24, 12, so, and again 3. So, we can write it as 64 into 3. 64 into 3. And now, we will do the addition or subtraction in between the similar sets. Now, it is 4. So, it is uh, a perfect square number so we can take it outside that means it will give us 2 root 6 minus 3 this is also like that so we will write 3 root 6 plus 16 root 3 here also 16 is a perfect square number this is a perfect square number so we will write it as plus 4 root 3 and then 64 means 8 square. This is also perfect square number. So, we can write it as 8 root 3. So, minus root 6, 3 root 6, 2 root 6. So, minus root 6, 4 root 3, 8 root 3. So, minus 4 root 3. So, minus 6, minus 4 root 3. This is the answer. This is the answer. Now see the example 2. Here it is written in the fraction form. This is fraction, this is fraction and this is also fraction. So in the case of uh, this type of form, what we will do? We will rationalize the denominator. We will try to rationalize the denominator. And to do it, we will uh, multiply the denominator with its um, complementary sums because here it is a sums the denominator is a sums and we will multiply these sums with its complementary sums means I am writing uh, see if it is 2 um, plus root 3 that means its complementary sums will be 2 minus root 3 Actually, what will happen here after that, that it is just a plus b form and it is a minus b form. It is actually a plus b form and it is actually a minus b form. That means a plus b into a minus b, all of we know, a square minus b square. So, whenever we are doing square of any root, that means it will go to root 3, square root 3. That's why the same thing will apply here. It, it, it will be then gives us that 4 because 2 square means 4 and minus root 3 whole square means that will gives us 4 minus 3. So, then it will, will get rational number. The same thing we will do here. We will multiply this denominator with its complementary sums. And following this rule, we will get here that here it is 
start this root 3 plus 2 root 2 here the fraction is root 3 and the sorry the, not the fraction fractions denominator is root 3 plus root 2 so its complementary search will be root 3 minus root 2 so root 3 minus root 2 and as I am um, multiplying root 3 minus root 2 in denominator that means I have to multiply the same thing in numerator also because we have to keep the uh, fraction same and that's why I'm multiplying the same thing on the numerator also again the same uh, process we will do for this one also so here it is 3 root 3 and under it will be root 5 plus root 2 so it's complementary search will be root 5 minus root 2 and the same thing we have to multiply here because to keep the fraction same root 5 minus root 2 next is this term so plus 2 root 2 root 5 plus root 3 into root 5 minus root 3 as its complementary terms and root 5 minus root 3 okay now see here root 3 plus root 2 root 3 minus root 2 so it will give us root 3 whole square minus root 2 whole square that means root 3 whole square minus root 2 whole square and on the top it will give us root 15 because we said that in the case of multiplication it does or division it doesn't matter that uh, the search are similar search or not so it is root 15 minus root 10 minus from here we will get root 5 whole square minus root 2 whole square 3 root 15 because root 3 and root 5 we can multiply this minus 3 root 3 into root 2 means root 6 and now plus root 5 whole square minus root 3 whole square 2 root 10 minus 2 root 6 now root 3 means whole square means uh, 3 minus 2 that is 1 root 15 minus root 10 and here in the denominator root 5 square means 5 minus 2 just simply 5 minus 2 and it's top 3 15 minus 3 root 6 5 minus 2 means it will give us 3 it will be 3 right so I am just erasing this part plus 5 minus 3 5 minus 3 means it will give us 2 and on the top it is 2 10, root 10 minus 2 root 6 so now root 15 minus root 10 and here is 3, here is 3 and in the denominator there is 3. So we can take 3 on the numerator as a common. So it will give us 3 root 15 minus root 6 and under 3, so 3 we can see. Plus here also we can take 2 as a common from the numerator and then we will get root 10 minus root 6. And denominator to 2 to cancel. So we are getting ultimately root 15 minus root 10 minus root 15 minus minus plus root 6 plus root 10 minus root 6. And root 15 minus root 15. So it's cancelling. 
and root minus root 10 plus root 10. So both these also cancel and plus root 6 minus root 6. This also cancel. So ultimately the result you are getting 0. So the answer of this simplification is 0. I am pretty sure that uh, you will get fun when you will uh, solve this type of uh, search problem simplification and all this type of search problem. Uh, so enjoy it and practice it. Like, share and subscribe my math lab and keep comments.